Yeah, so hey, we're uh, back at Summit. Uh, this is from a few weeks ago. As you can tell, it's, it's wet, but lawn probably down off the hill. Um, the bunchers all still squeaky clean from me cleaning it up up there on that last unit. But uh, took the opportunity to get it down here. And, um, the Summit's going to put a Summit hitch on it um, and install the uh, the uh, controls and radios and whatnot on it. So. Uh, that's the factory that we're looking at, factory, uh, you know, uh, stinger mount, which is a bolt-on. And uh, apparently they have, they've, um, Eric's had some, some uh, issues with that, uh, breaking bolts and bolts loosening up. So uh, we decided to go ahead and have Summit do one. Um, I'll get some pictures of the completed project, but they basically cut that mount off, welded the new one on. It's, Got kind of a different attachment point to. Yeah, and there's Lon, this mountain gorilla, dropped me off. Just a quick look around the yard. These guys really have it going on. There's a lot of iron there waiting in the queue to get in. And that's what we're talking about right there. So, just a quick update here in the shop on the 470. And it's coming right along too. They really do nice work. I, I certainly appreciate, you know, the attention to detail and the quality and the craftsmanship that's going into it. It's really fun to have a chance to look at it and watch it go through the process. So yeah, the uh, yeah, the, these are the compartments underneath the, the drive motors. Got some mounts going in for the valve and uh, the controls. Yeah, th th these uh, components are laser cut. I actually spoke with the uh, fellow, uh, Duke, I think his name is, uh, who does that the other day. Hell of a nice guy. I, you know, anybody that's done fabricating, you know, can't help but appreciate the uh, precision of these components. I just I just love it and it's it's beautiful stuff. Beautiful work. Yes, the catwalks are on and the guys are uh, um, working on the cab guard and also replacing or uh, building fabricating new uh, steps down there on the uh, track frames. Really uh, look good. I really like the cab guard. It's got a nice design to it. It's kind of aggressive and, and uh, again, it's just really, really well done. I like the way it looks and I like the way it's, it's, uh, it's, it's uh, fabricated. It's, it's very nice craftsmanship. Yeah, I like how that steps out away from the window so you can reach in and clean it without having to, you know, roll the window back up, you know, with the, with the bad weather, you know, it's uh, enough space so you can work it, work on it, clean it when you need to. And these are these new uh, step assemblies, very nicely done. They're, shallow you know so um, I'm gonna do my best not to you know tear them up they particularly the John Deere's I think are poor design they always get destroyed looking down on the the drum housing I like the you know those covers right there fold back up kind of a gold wind thing so it looks like there's gonna be good access down down from the top I guess also that's to you know for installing them and removing them if they're needed to. Yeah, so they really. I, I, I'm very impressed with this uh, this operation. Everybody that I have talked with here 
um, in one way or another has expressed how much they enjoy working there. And to me, that says a hell of a lot about the outfit, but it also says a lot about the quality of the machines they're putting together. You know, if people like what they're doing, they're gonna do a real good job. And, and like I said, everybody I've talked to basically has said they love their job, love working there, it's a good thing. So. Anyhow, interesting place. If you ever have a minute and have time to come in and take a look, I highly recommend it. So, anyhow, as always, appreciate the interest. Thanks for watching.